Yeah, the worst thing attachment is it just went I'm going to make um, a chocolate dessert. Um, it's like, we call it a chocolate pot, yeah? It's probably the most simple chocolate thing in the world. But the good thing about it, right, is because the girls want chocolate and I'm not arguing with them at this time of night. <laughs> I've got half a pint of single cream, yeah? That I just pour in the old, uh, in the old pan. I don't want to bring it to the boil, but I want to bring it to a little simmer. So I'm going to whack the old gas up, get it heating. And uh, most importantly, got chocolate. Nice chocolate, 70% cocoa mass for cooking. But if I put a whole chunk of chocolate in, it'll take half an hour to melt. So by oh. by smashing it up, does does a good job. So there we go. Right, I need some eggs. I've got some lovely um, free-range organic eggs. Just stand them up for a laugh. Um, basically, what I want to do is um, just crack the eggs. So I've got the egg yolks. Yeah, I'm not using the egg whites. So I'm going to chuck those away. But basically, the egg yolks I put in this dish, it just makes it really, really rich and like intensifies the chocolate flavour. So this cream, it's been on the heat for about a minute, a minute and a half. So it's dead quick, really. And that's the only bit of cooking that we've got to do. So it's not boiling, but it's pretty much like a... Well, it's kind of like a simmer, really. So pop your old chocolate in. All right, let's get a spatula. All right, and let's just stir, stir this in. And I love this bit because, like, you see cream turn into like this pretty unbelievable thing. Um, I mean, the, li the liquid's hot enough to melt the chocolate? Yeah, it's just hot enough to melt the chocolate. And also these egg yolks I'm going to put in now as well. And obviously eggs hardly need any cooking really, but you've got to stir it while you're doing it. Because you don't want like scrambled eggs in your old chocolate. So give it a nod. The nice thing is that you can see it becoming like really, really smooth. But, um, so now we've done that, what do we need? A bit of brandy, mate. Don't tell them about it, because I think they've had their fair share. For this much, I put about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, yeah? But the trick is, because all brandies are different, and I wouldn't use a cheap old horrible brandy, do something half decent. But um, have a little, stir it in and have a little taste, yeah? Because, um, like, brandy and chocolate, um, you know, is quite a nice combination, but if you have loads of booze and you swallow it, it's like, <sighs> horrible, so. so. So the brandy really is just for flavour? Mm. Yeah, a little bit more. The other thing you can do is like grate like orange in, a little bit of orange zest, so it's like, like the chocolate orange effect, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing better than the old chocolate orange. But, um, all right, the last thing I need, I'm going to put a little bit of butter, yeah, and sort of, you know, it's, on, it's about 20 grams of butter I'm using, but in layman's terms, about a small knob of butter, really. It's purely there to sort of enrich in it and make it lovely and smooth and just kind of... Is it salted or unsalted? That is actually slightly salted. Funnily enough, chocolate can always do with a little, little pinch of salt because it, it actually benefits from being seasoned a little bit. Do you really not mind coming home in the middle of the night and cooking? I can't think of anything I'd like to no. do less. Mate, I've done worse. I've, every time I go around someone's house for a dinner party, I, I end up cooking, even if I'm not cooking, so... It makes no odds to me, mate. But, um, listen, that's gone all nice and smooth now. Yeah. I like to put it in little espresso cups and fill them up with chocolate. Pour it in carefully. I'm sure I'm going to get chocolate everywhere. It sets really smooth and like, you know, just like the perfect kind of thing that you... Oh, no, I've got to spill a bit. Um, you know, it's not hard and horrible. It's kind of goes smooth and lovely. I'm starving. We're starving. <laughs> did, did These are done now, but I've got, to put them, I've got them in the fridge. Did you have a nice evening, Jules? Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah, we had a right laugh. Really good. But I'm afraid we're really starving. No pressure. Yeah, well, that's all but right. Can we have that now? No, 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 because I've got to put them in the fridge. But you can have that. Excellent. Thanks, Jane. Don't be long. Easily, please. Look what I've got. Hey! Oh! 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 You could serve them very happily as they are. But I'll tell you what I do. I do, um, like a little little like lemon and polenta cookies, but like any like little crunchy kind of biscuits, fantastic. Because then you just put them on the side of the old um, dish. So you have three biscuits, a bit of this teaspoon, and it's nice because you can kind of use the biscuit to sort of spoon it all up. So there you go. About half an hour, forty minutes. So um, 